Hey guys, what's up? Pizza Oving Nerd here. There's a zombie apocalypse outside now, so I'm forced to stay inside my house. Indefinitely. And right now I'm bored enough to, while well, reviewing Linux distros is fun again. So it's time to review Ubuntu 2004's daily builds. Now I've been on Ubuntu 2004's daily builds since like, I don't know, Sunday or something? And so far from what I'm seeing, this might be one of the best Ubuntu releases I've ever seen, if it weren't for one thing. And I'm going to be that asshole who makes you wait till the end of the video to find out what that one thing is. So uh, let's just get into the video, why not? Let's start with stability. I'm running a daily build which is supposed to be unstable, but I haven't discovered a single bug. I came from running Arch and having tons of issues with GNOME 3.36 to having basically no issues with GNOME inside Ubuntu 2004. Now I did have an issue where Ubuntu was packaging an older version of Lollipop Music Player that didn't work with the newer GNOME stack, however I'm 95% sure that this will be fixed by tomorrow, not by tomorrow, but in the main mainline release, I don't know why I said tomorrow, but I'm 90% sure, 95, I don't know, it's going to be fixed by the mainline release. And I was able to work around it by installing the flat pack of Lollipop Music Player. Other than that one issue though, I can't believe how stable this is for a beta. Now of course, I can never judge stability unless I've been running this distro for at least 6 months, but for the 5 days I've ran this daily build, I haven't seen a single thing crash other than that Lollipop package I had issue thing. So I'm going to be giving uh, Ubuntu 2004 2 thumbs up for stability. I know, I'm copying uh, DB Boss with this 2 thumbs up thing, I don't care. Now, in the past, I've criticized Ubuntu for having a slow and bloated build of GNOME. GNOME has always felt slow and sluggish to me on Ubuntu compared to other distros like Fedora, Arch, Pop OS, even Zorn OS seems to have a better uh, optimizations for GNOME than Ubuntu does. But with Ubuntu 2004, that sluggish niche seemed to magically disappear. I also hated GNOME 3.36 for how buggy it was on Arch, but on Ubuntu, it's very snappy, no pun intended. And I haven't had any problems with their build of GNOME. Their build of GNOME is just great. The only thing I don't like about Ubuntu's GNOME setup is that they remove the activities hot corner for some reason. Look at this. I, why? Other than that hot corners thing though, I just love Ubuntu's build of GNOME 3.36. It, it really is just stable. It works. It's great. Now let's go over the features. Despite being an LTS build, Ubuntu 2004 has made more changes to the distro than a lot of non-LTS releases. One thing they finally removed is that disgusting Amazon app that shipped with Ubuntu. They also made some changes to the Yaru theme, such as making a lot of elements that used to be green, they changed it to dark purple. It's very ugly looking. But it's just a theming thing, so it's not a big deal. I'm in denial. Speaking of Yaru, there's now a switcher for light and dark themes. If you open settings, head over to appearance, then you get a switcher for light and dark and standard themes. The light theme has a light header bar and window, the dark theme has a dark header bar and window, and the standard theme, which is default by the way, has a dark header bar but with a light window. There's also a new feature called Live Patch, which allows you to apply some kernel updates without rebooting. Unfortunately, they want you to sign in with an Ubuntu One account in order to use this feature. Why? One great thing they did though is they removed the snaps for GNOME Calculator, Characters, and GNOME Logs and replaced them with the apt versions. So that way those three stock apps now open faster and don't depend on snap. But they did package the snap store to replace the Ubuntu Software Center which brings us to my rant about snaps. You're joking. Not another one? When I first heard that Ubuntu was planning on replacing the Ubuntu Software Center with the Snap Store, I was pretty disappointed. That means you'll only be able to install snaps through a GUI without installing Synaptic or something else. But then I read on OMG Ubuntu that the Snap Store will be, still be able to install dev packages through Apt, which kind of relieved me. I also learned that the GNOME Software Center will still be maintained, so you can use the GNOME Software Center for Debian packages while using the Snap Store to see all your snaps as well. But on the daily builds I'm using, the Snap Store can only install snaps, and it can't even install .deb files. This is fine since theoretically you can install the GNOME Software Center, but if you do that, well, 
both of the software centers have the same icons and they have very similar names. So even I'm still getting them confused whenever I open up the launcher and try and launch one of them. Another issue is that the GNOME Software Center still comes with the Snap plugin by default, so you have to remove the Snap plugin in order to remove all snaps from the GNOME Software Center. A novice user who might not want to snap might have a hard time figuring out how to in first install the GNOME Software Center and then second figure out how to remove the Snap plugin. My solution is to include both the GNOME Software Center and the Snap Store. So include the GNOME Software Center without supports for snaps or even flat packs, and only support apt and deb files, and also include the Snap Store for people who do want snaps. Unfortunately though, since all we have by default is a Snap Store that can't even install deb files, I'm not recommending Ubuntu for new users anymore. If a new user needs to use like an enterprise application such as, I don't know, SimpleNote or Slack or something that isn't in the Snap Store, and they provide a .dev file, they're not going to know to open up the command line and use the command line to install it. They're just going to think, why isn't my GUI working? So this is a huge deal breaker for many users, including a deal breaker for me recommending Ubuntu. So since Ubuntu doesn't come out for, I don't know, another 25 days, hopefully they will fix this. Canonical, please don't do this. This is your chance to make Ubuntu great again. And especially don't screw up this release because this is an LTS. This is what many distros are going to be based on for two years. As well as what a lot of novice users are going to use so that they don't have to update every six months. So Ubuntu, please don't ship only the Snap Store that doesn't support devs. Snaps? Why are you talking about Snaps? There's a zombie apocalypse. Mom, this is important. We need to go to the store. Get ready. For what? We need to buy salami. Why? Because that is how to get rid of zombies. I read it on the onion. Oh, okay. That that makes sense, I guess, maybe. Uh, thanks to patrons Michelle Vantino, Sam Covet, and new patron Jim Peter. Uh, the support really helps, especially now with the obvious zombie apocalypse happening outside. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching this video. Patreon in the description. Bye.